Death Bear is like the coolest out of like everyone. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody. Okay, this is episode one of Sports Headquarters. Let's do this. Okay, today we will be talking about basketball and how Nevada in such a long time, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure it's the first, it, when I looked it up it didn't say, but my dad works there and he said it was, but this is the first time Nevada has beaten New Mexico with a score of 105 to 104. But you know what's really crazy? In the second quarter, with about 30 seconds left, Nevada makes a killer comeback from 76 to 94, tying up right as the timer goes off. Making, I don't know, so many three throws. Three, no, three. Three pointers, I think. Dude, I'm sorry, I don't really know. But. Freaking, with a ton of effort and some help, Jordan Caroline makes 45 points in all by the end of the game, taking the lead for his team of most points, probably adding a little competition. But, hey, there's no fun without competition. But um, what's really crazy about this game, though, is how close Nevada came to losing. They were one point off. One point. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, I I got a haircut, but that's that's not what I'm. That's not what's important. Is they were one point off. It was the game was amazing. Okay, he made almost. I I know for a fact he made over eight three point pointers. I I'm, I'm not really a basketball person. Jordan Caroline did, but like that part. When the second quarter, when there was 30 seconds left in the second quarter and they tied up, they made three three-pointers. I know that. That game was amazing. And New Mexico is a good team, I will admit that. They're, like, they're pretty good. But, but um, that team, they did so amazingly. They did so amazing. They put so much effort in that game. And they just wrecked the field, and, well, in return, they won. So, that's good. But, you know, I I was rooting for them the whole time. Well, duh, I, I'm, I live in right now. Well, but, well, but, but, I didn't actually get to go to the game, but I watched a ton of videos, and, dang, they did work out there. They got so many picks, so many assists, Nevada did. Dude, I actually thought New Mexico was going to win, though. Like, it was so close. New Mexico was doing so good. Then Nevada just did that killer comeback, and uh, look, they won. But on a more serious note, let's think about this. If you would have to guess, how much do you think a woman basketball player makes a year? They make... So much less than a man. So much less than a man basketball player. Men basketball, whatever. The maximum a woman can make per a year is 1,000, wait, 100, 100, 101,000. Now that's nothing compared to the average. Yeah, the average. I don't even know the minimum. The minimum's probably even a million. The average a man makes per year is five million dollars now there's something really messed up about that okay like come on some women players are even better than men players like dude okay so what they're women so what they are women so what they are girls yeah that's better so what they are girls okay they're good they're putting effort so you're just gonna pay them less just because they're girls like I know if you think about this the girls' soccer team gets paid less than men's, even though they make more money, like, like, for people paying to get into their little soccer watching thingy, I don't know, little game, to pay to watch their game to get in there, they make more than a men. It's more than people pay to watch men. They make way more. And they still get paid less. And I can't be- I cannot- believe women get paid that less in basketball that less in any sport okay like the best tennis player is a woman okay and she gets paid less than a man like that is some serious jacked up business 
Okay, like we need to fix that. Okay, because women, they put so much effort in things. And now we're just going to pay them less, even though they're better than some men and they're getting paid more. It's like, you, it's so dumb. Come on, you got you to gotta do equal crap like that, you know? But, like, they need to change that. They need to talk to the government, however that works. I don't know who they need to talk to. But one of the best basketball players only makes this, um, only makes a hundred one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars which yeah is more than the maximum but that's nothing lebron james makes at least 13 million dollars a year 13 million dollars a year okay that woman should at least at least make one million the freaking minimum at least the minimum for how much women make should be the maximum of how much they make. The minimum of how much women make should be $101,000. Okay? Because they... That is just... It is so messed up. Like, that's not just in sports. That's in other jobs. If you think about that. That's all over this world. Men are... In a lot of jobs are getting paid more than women. And I know I'm a guy and I shouldn't be complaining. Because, yeah, I'm getting paid more. But... Like, I care, okay? Like, that's so unfair. Like, how is a woman going to make it as far as a man? You know? Like, I don't know. I just, I hate it. I hate that with everything. I hate it. I just hate it. I think it's totally unfair. I think we need to fix it. And, I, oh yeah, sorry, I made notes in the nerd. Whatever. I think we need to fix it, and I think we need to change that, because women put so much more effort than men. If you think about it, yeah, because men are so not to be not to be sexist, but men a lot of the times men can be stronger and faster. Because the strongest man alive is ten times stronger than stronger than the woman alive, but they barely put any effort just because they think they're better than girls. Like that saying, you throw like a girl, or you throw like my mom, but mostly the saying, you throw like a girl. That is so sexist, because I know some girls are who throw even better than men. So, just because men do, like, are so good, or they think they're so good, they think they can be sexist. And they can't, and it's unfair. Like, I, five bucks, the people who are in charge of how much money these, these men and women make are men. Because if they were women, they would do it more fair. Because women, are, I will admit, are more mature. Because men, they just think, oh, it's because we're stronger, we're better. Not true. Women put more effort in because they know that even if they are stronger, they still need to put effort in. They know that they may be weaker, that's why they're putting more effort in. But men are like, oh, we're stronger, we got this. And they barely put any effort in. I don't know. I just think they need to change that. It needs to be better. Uh, I think it's messed up is what I think. But, you know, I don't get to decide these things. And if I could, I would try to make it as equal as possible. Um, I, I can't. I don't remember her name. Let me look through my notes. One moment, one moment. It is... Carly Liotta, Liotta, I don't, I can't pronounce her name, it's Carly Liotta, here, let me find a separate piece of paper, I'll just write it down, so you guys can see, I am, I was reading a JS book, and I saw this, then I looked online, and I got way more than the JS book said, Junior Scholastic, so, here, let me write it down one sec, so you guys can see it. Right here. This is her name. Okay? She has talked to the government and they said they're going to bring it to court. Or like, a, uh, the she's, she's filed a complaint to the federal government. Just because she makes, she gets like, uh, she's, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, when I said LeBron James makes thirteen million a year, sorry, that was an understatement. He makes thirty-one million a year. Anyways, but she's filed a complaint to the federal federal government, and yeah, I just good for her. Good for freaking her. She's like. She's standing up for her rights, and she knows she needs to get paid more. So good for her. Well, that was all on Sports Headquarters. See you next next week where we will be doing... No, no. Let's do this. Let's see if people do go in my comments. Let's do this. And if they don't, then I'll just decide. But I, I want you guys to do it. So let's just do this. Well, in the comments, leave leave a comment and say and say what you want me to do next. Okay, I kind of want it to be along the lines of a woman's sport, just because I just did all of this. But you know, you guys choose. I'll research it. But in the comments, just write down what you want me to do next. Okay, peace out, bros.